Hello guys, Sheer Textures here and today, I'm gonna show you 5 tricks you have to know on Inkscape 2.7 for SketchUp. Number 1. Use the roughness map correctly. Open your project and start Inkscape. You can start Inkscape also using Extensions menu. Open Inkscape Materials window clicking here. In the General section, we can set up our roughness map. What does the roughness map do? The roughness map defines how rough a surface is. A roughness of 0 results in a mirror reflection and roughness of 1 results in a diffuse or matte surface. The specular map is used to define a surface's shininess and highlight color. Zero means no highlight on the material. And metallic value is used to define the material metal or not. Value 1 is mean metal. When you add texture in there, black areas define as zero, white areas define as one. So, when I add this scratch texture, we'll see the very smooth plane and scratches on it. But when I invert this dark image, like from here, we'll see our plane rough now but our scratch is becoming smooth. What is the glossiness map? Glossiness map is an exactly inverted version of the roughness map. If you have a texture named glossiness like in here, you can invert it and use it as roughness. With these parameters, we can create realistic surface reflections in our materials. For general roughness values, we can use the Enscape Roughness Index based on materials types. Number 2. Easy Material Settings Using Keywords When you create a texture with the name defined as grass, aluminium, glass, chrome etc. Those keywords change the material parameters without changing their color. The color is still defined by the SketchUp texture. You can adjust the grass height and variations from here. I changed this texture from mirror to glass in a few seconds. Pretty cool and let us create basic textures very fast. Also, you can use these keywords to create new materials. Number 3. Self-Illumination in the Material Editor, you can find the Self-Illumination section. Self-Illumination makes textures glow. You can adjust colors and brightness. This option adds extra reality to screens, bulbs, car lights, etc. Also, you can add an albedo map on TV screens to improve reality. Number 4. Adding an HDRI map to the sky. On the menu bar, click Visual Settings icon. In the Atmosphere tab, we can change the source of the background. When you use Clear Sky or the other options instead of Skybox, you have to set up everything down below in sun settings to reach perfect shadow and light value. 
Instead of this, you can select a skybox option and add an HDRI map into it. It's a special kind of image that contains much more color info than normal images. They are created by combining several pictures of the same scene with different exposures. When Skybox is active, SketchUp Sum will not effective anymore. Number 5. Exporting Standalone Executable Preview You can export the current Enscape model into a standalone EXE. For this, click Extension Menu, under the Enscape tab, click Standalone EXE. After completing the progress, you can copy this file in your external hard drive and make interactive presentations of your project anywhere you want. The preview provides the same experience and quality that Enscape does, but does not require Enscape or SketchUp. I hope this information will help you. You can download free high-quality textures from our website, link in description. If you want to see more videos like this, give a like and don't forget to subscribe.